James Purdy and Sons, Holland and Holland, Boss and Co., William Evans. To American gun owners, you probably don't recognize these names. But if you grew up in Britain, these names would be signs of some of the highest quality shotguns and rifles you've probably ever seen. A number of these companies represent a different part of the shooting world that we are very used to in the United States. This is a kind of shooting world that it revolves around a particular lifestyle of shooting, hunting, and being outdoors in a kind of way that we aren't exactly accustomed to in the United States. It's very fascinating and very interesting for a number of reasons. One of the companies that really represents this lifestyle very well is William Evans. William Evans is one of the older London gun makers, uh, being established in 1883 kind of coming on the tail end of some of the other big names, such as James Purdy, Holland and Holland, Boss. And William Evans is located in the Mayfair District of London, and it is a small-time shop compared to some of the others, although it does have locations in Bisley and in Calgary. But what William Evans does is they produce and import and sell secondhand shotguns and rifles of extremely high quality. The kind of quality we're talking about here isn't just, you know, a Beretta Deluxe Edition or an over and under that has a few splendid lines of a forestry scene on the side lock. The kind of quality we're looking at here are shotguns that have been worked on for months and months at a time, have been handmade, have been hand fitted to their particular owners, and oftentimes take over a year or more to produce and make because there's so much effort and there's so much quality just put into them. The amount of gunsmithing that is done on them is another part that we just don't really have in the United States. We don't really have handmade firearms unless you're pay paying a premium deal. Which leads me to another point in that many of these shotguns often cost tens of thousands of pounds and hundreds of thousands of dollars at times. So within William Evans, we have an excellent array of what the British shooting sports look like. We have the sales of shotguns, we have the sales of rifles, we have new shotguns and new rifles, and we also have secondhand stuff. However, the history of William Evans is extremely interesting. So as I said earlier, dating back to 1883, William Evans actually has a book containing every single firearm that has ever been sold from the premises of the London gun room. They've got these books that are essentially annual yearbooks of every single gun that is sold. We can look back at this book and see sales to the Duke of Connaught, which William Evans is known for being gun makers for the Duke of Connaught. We can also see the sales of various 22 training firearms to the Admiralty during World War I. Even to Spencer Churchill, which is especially interesting. One of the employees of William Evans pointed out to me the Spencer Churchill sales, which, although not Winston Churchill, he was a cousin to Winston Churchill of a number of shotguns there. A number of shotguns that William Evans sells are imported from Spain or from other European countries. These shotguns come into the country, sometimes unfinished, and they are often put to the test by the gunsmiths that work at William Evans. And they ensure that they are up to the highest standards of quality, and they put a number of finishing touches on them before they are then put into the gun rooms, and they are sold to customers all over the world. Apart from the guns with William Evans' name on them, we also have an assortment of other shotguns. So William Evans sells to customers, and these are simply imported firearms from outside the United Kingdom. And last but not least, we have some of the more exquisite companies within the British gunmaking scene. Companies such as Purdy, Holland & Holland, Boss. These guns have established a reputation of being some of the more interesting and highest quality shotguns that the world has ever seen. Some of these guns fetch upwards of 100,000 pounds per shotgun or per pair. A pair is usually sold as two shotguns at once, one being to shoot, the other being to load. Examine just the amount of detail and the extreme level of gunsmithing that's involved here. We're talking about inlaid gold, we're talking about etchings, we're talking about extremely well-made side locks, over and unders, single shots as well. I mean, it really doesn't get any more exquisite than these shotguns we're looking at right now. 
We even got a quote from the King of England in around the 1950s or so, where the King of England was shooting a boss shotgun, and somebody asked his opinion on it, and he said, it's a mighty fine shotgun, but it's really expensive. Can you imagine that? The King of England is calling a single shotgun extremely expensive. William Evans also produces their own line of shotgun shells. Interestingly, these shotgun shells are paper, unlike the plastic ones that we have in the United States. Within America, I think the majority of paper shells are pretty much obsolete. But today, in the United Kingdom, paper shotgun shells are still very much the fashionable trend. Of course, there are plastic ones as well, but the paper ones do just fine in the climate that they have. Apart from shotguns and rifles, William Evans also specializes in accessories and clothing, offering a huge variety of different clothing styles, bags, gloves, coats, boots, even some tactical stuff that's on the upper portion of the store. If you are ever in London, I would highly recommend going by the William Evans store and to peer into a fascinating part of the world firearms community that we rarely get a chance to really look at and really examine here in the United States. I really want to extend a hand of thanks to the William Evans employees who really helped me produce this video, bringing out some of these very expensive and very interesting shotguns out to film, in addition to allowing me to spend a whole day in their gun room there, just filming some of the more interesting parts of what their showroom. In addition, I'd like to really thank Proxybid. I don't know if you could get a William Evans shotgun on Proxybid, although I'm sure there are some William Evans material that is on the auction site there. So give it a look and see if it's up there. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to learn some bit about William Evans and part of the firearms community that we don't often hear about in the United States at all. Until next time. Thank you.